All right, welcome back, everybody. It is now the uh, second day of the race. It is uh, midnight, 12.02 to be exact, and we are here for our 14th hour of race coverage. This hour of race coverage is brought to you guys by KMC Wheels. They're also the title sponsor all year for Fishistics. Big thanks to KMC Wheels for coming on board. They make wheels for everything from your UTV, your daily driver, your Jeep, your race car, everything. They make a bunch of wheels. So go check out kmcwheels.com and uh, go get some wheels for your ride. We're going to check out the leaderboard again. So going back to here. And <coughs> we don't have much change going on here. The number six is still leading. Number 11 actually dropped back a little bit. So I think Rob Mack or Jason Voss at this point is uh, playing it smart and just uh, drop back a little bit, knowing that he has a uh, you know seven minutes or six minutes to be able to finish behind them. And he couldn't get around him, it seemed like. We saw a couple videos we posted where he was right on the number six, like literally on his bumper, and he wasn't able to make the pass. So I think he did a smart thing, and rather than try to push it, uh, and have something stupid happen. I think Jason Voss played the smart safe game, which is Jason Voss style. And he's just hanging back behind the six. He is, uh, he is getting a bit of a gap though. You can see he's at 686 and he's at 692. So he's pulled the whole six miles on him. And, uh, you know, a few minutes ago he was six feet behind him. So he might be slowing down a little too much or they might have an issue. I don't know. We'll see. So then we go come back and Cameron Steele is back in the number 16 now. So Cameron's back in there driving himself. And in the 31, it's Tavo Vidosla. Tavo had a, um, or yeah, Tavo's having a good run coming back. Uh, ever since he's been in the car, it's been pretty clean in his section. We haven't seen him stopped at all. Uh, so haven't seen much there. If we come back down to here to the number seven, and the 23, the seven Bryce Menzies with Toby Price driving now. They caught up to the 23 with uh, Gary Wyrick in there. They uh, The 23 had a flat, I believe. They were down for a few minutes, and the seven was able to gain some ground and get around them. So that's what's going on with those guys. Then uh, back here, we go to the 70, and that is Harley Lettner in there driving the Kevin Thompson truck. And then the first legend class is the uh, Clyde Stacy entry with uh, Armin Schwartz. Armin Schwartz started in the car, I believe, because he qualified it. So I would assume Clyde is probably in the car now or maybe a third driver. I'm not sure who their other driver was. Uh, and then Zach Langley, Alan Apudia, and Robert, uh, Robbie Pierce are your trophy truck guys. Oh, somebody said Toby is out. Bryce is back in. All right, well, there you go. Bryce is back in the number seven. So uh, Bryce Menzies back in the number seven. Maybe that's why he was able to reel in Dan too. Bryce stepped it up a little bit and uh, put the pedal back down. Where Toby did a good job. He did a clean. He had a clean run in his section. Didn't look like he had any problems. So good job to Toby Price. Uh, B.J. Baldwin still coming along, still moving along. It's got to be Todd LaDuke in there by this point, I would think. Uh, race mile 600. Uh, Carlos Abdali Lopez is still moving along. Uh, he's probably out of the truck and there are other drivers in there now. Maybe it's his dad or, uh, you know, pin. I think he might be in there. Then number 19, Tim Herbst, they'd run out of gas or had a fuel line, uh, get pinched earlier in the day. Took them a while to get that fixed in the San Felipe section. So that's why they're down and they're still going. Let's go look at the trophy truck spec class this update is brought to you guys by baja kits go to bajakits.com and check out the cool stuff they have the leader in the trophy truck spec class is the 200 they've been leading pretty much all day so the 200 still out front we have jason mcneil in second he's racing with jerry larimore uh, i would assume jerry's probably in the truck at this point <clears throat> then the 232 is on the highway, so don't pay attention. The 232 blew their motor up a little while ago, so they're on the highway. They're not actually in third. The 204 Sarah Price is in third place. And then behind them is going to be the 218 of Chad Dorman. And it could be the, or the 295 is behind them. 295 was leading a lot of the day, but then they got stuck in the silt. So look down here. This is the gnarly silt section. See all these cars, they're all at uh, zero miles an hour, 22 miles an hour, zero, 16, nine, zero. So this section is claiming a lot of vehicles right now. <clears throat> and there's definitely a lot of uh, vehicles getting stuck in this silt. Let's go look at the uh, UTV class. Thanks to four wheel parts, we're going to get another look at the 2900 class. 
The leader in the 2900 class is Wayne Matlock. He's been leading all day. He's got a good gap now back to second place. It's the biggest gap he's had all day back to Derek Murray. Um, Wayne also started in the rear, so he has even more time on these people than it looks like because he started in the rear. Reese Millen is third, so the top three in the 2900 class is staying the same. The normally aspirated class is uh, Kristen Matlock. Oh, it looks like she got going again. So she was down earlier, got going again, and now she's down again. So she's stuck in the silt. That's kind of weird. Um, she probably just can't physically get around right here because there's too many cars stuck because I don't think a UTV would get stuck. Wouldn't think they would get stuck in here. So she's probably just waiting her turn and trying to get around. So it, we have a race again in the normally aspirated. Look, we got four cars all within a few miles of each other. You got Caden Wells, Christopher Boyle, and Tyler Backus all coming on, uh, trying to gain on Kristen Matlock. So that's going to be a good race there again, uh, it looks like. So let's see what uh, what other class you guys want to see. <clears throat> let's see what you guys want. Let me know. We're getting a little we're getting a little bit tired over here, but we're hanging in there. We're gonna stay here at least until the uh, probably till the trophy truck spec winner is done, or we'll kind of play it by ear. But definitely we'll be live for a few more hours. I'm still expecting the winning truck to probably be done in about two hours or so. Um, let's go look at class seven. Oh, this is kind of funny. The class seven. So we were talking earlier. Um, Pat Daly in the Jeff Proctor truck, he moves about a hundred feet at a time. Then he goes a thousand feet. Then he goes a hundred feet. Then he gets stuck. And then the 722 moves, then they get stuck. The 711 moves, they get stuck. Um, Dan Shamley was in there getting stuck earlier, but he's been, uh, unstuck for a while and he's starting to check out. So hopefully, uh, Pat Daly in the Jeff Proctor Honda truck can get unstuck relatively quickly, or he's not going to have much of a chance to run down uh, Shamley here, <clears throat> getting a little bit late in the race to try to run people down. So hopefully they can get, uh, get dug out. This is that gnarly section. Like we said, and there's no going in here with chase trucks or anything. So when you're in here, you're, you're in here until you get yourself out. So, <clears throat> you know, Pat and Loomis that's in the car with them. They're definitely Baja veterans. They, they'll be able to get out. You know, there's probably a bunch of cars stuck in front of them. Look at this. If we turn on all of them, this is all the cars in the race. Look at all the cars piled up here. I mean, these layers of cars are just stacked on top of each other. They're all at zero miles an hour or very slow. Zero, 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 18, zero, zero. I mean, all the way back, look, they're just stacked on top of each other. <coughs> Excuse me, all the way through, zero miles an hour, zero miles an hour. Even UTVs are at zero miles an hour. So it seems that uh, this is not a place you want to be hanging out in the race. Eventually, all these cars will get out of here, but how long is uh, anyone's guess? All right, what else do you guys want to see? 516, okay, we'll show you that. There's probably not very many of them. There's one right there, the 577, Luis Herrera, first, 553, Caesar in second. Let's go look at the class 1600. They're going to be up here. Looks like the 614, Bruce Yee is in first, 621, Christopher Sanchez in second, Ernesto in the 618 is in third. So that's your uh, running order for the limited classes. Class 8, someone is asking about, is there pretty much the 827, Roger Malcolm is the only one still going. We have no idea where any of the other ones are, so uh, that's the only one that's tracking. All right, all right, well, I think that wraps it up. Let's just go... Look at the trophy trucks one more time, see if anything changed real quick, and then we'll log off for this hour. So coming back up to the top here, we have <clears throat> we have the number six at race mile 692. And then uh, let's refresh these. There we go. We refreshed it. All right. So they're actually up here. They're at 701. Rob McAchran, 693. So Rob Mack actually has almost lost 10 miles now. So Jason Voss, they're going to need to pick it back up. They might have an issue. He's definitely going a little bit slower than uh, what he should be right now. Cameron Steele is gaining on them quick. So Cameron and Andy both coming in hot, gaining on Rob Mack. Not sure what's going on there. So we'll keep an eye on that. It's the 6, 11, 16, 31, 7, and 23. One of those guys right there is going to win the race. We'll be back at uh, 1 a.m. for the next update. The uh, Trophy Truck 26 that you guys are asking about, they've been stuck forever um, down here. We haven't heard anything. Weatherman was trying to get a hold of them. Um, they've been sitting right here for a couple hours. So Dave Taylor is at mile 418.9. We have no idea 
what is going on with them. None of their team has talked to them yet. So uh, I don't know what to tell you on that one. Sorry. But if we get an update, we'll send a message out to the team because they are one of our Fish Logistics uh, clients this race. So keep you guys posted. All right. Thanks, KMC Wheels. See you guys at 1 o'clock.